Good morning, everybody. Hello and welcome to the Nakayama Terraced Rice Fields. This is a beautiful space in the kind of in the center of Shodoshima, where these terraced rice fields draw a lot of tourists visiting the island. And I thought today I would take you on a little adventure in this beautiful place. It's marked on the maps. Whenever you come here, it'll be in every brochure. And here we are. And even though that the Obon holiday is kind of over, there's still people here. Smart people probably took a couple of days after the holiday to avoid the, the rush. You can see the rice uh, starting to turn gold up there, which means it's about a month away from harvest, a little bit over a month. And I guess everybody's going down this way. I, I don't know much about it. I was just driving and I saw this uh, and I said, hey, I know this is an attraction, so why don't we just stop? It is a beautiful view. Ah, do you smell that? No. Well, I do, and it smells great. It's fresh air, it's a reason to get out of the city of Tokyo. And I got to be honest with you, I, I, I think you, uh, Tokyo, although it gets probably a lot more views, this, when it comes to Japan, is what I think of this amazing country. Japan's supposed to be a country that's in tune with, with nature, a natural place where there's kind of a harmony. And I, I don't think you get that in Tokyo or Osaka or even Kyoto for that matter. Kyoto, I, I think, is kind of overrated. I'll say that. Maybe it's because I've been there like 20 times. And it's been covered so much already. But this place hasn't been covered enough. Um, we're we're going to go down this way, but let me just take you around this, this, this way. And I, wow, I, and we can actually go up this way. So there are blue signs telling you where not to go. I guess you can't blue signs to tell you where to go and where not to go. Let's hug this road. Uh, I've driven it a few times and uh, this particular road, I was here yesterday, wanted to come back today. I was just driving by. I said, oh, I'm here. <laughs> it's hard to miss this place. So I'm just gonna pan over to the left and the right when I get to this clearing over here. makes yesterday's stream feel inferior in a way. Although there is no view of the sea here. And there is this weird hut in the center for some cult. I don't, don't know what the, exactly that is, but I guess we can go down there, check it out. What do you think? The asphalt's hot, I can tell you that. I got something in my sandal. Oh, look at this water trickling down on the right side. Hold on a second. Before the cars come. I don't know how good the signal is or how, good, how not good the signal is. So you guys tell me this is a 100% live stream as is everything on this channel. If you're looking for edited content, go to the other channel. Look at that water falling, falling down. I guess this is a way of, of irrigation, right? Oh, there's a vending machine. I am so parched. Okay, let's hit that first and then we're gonna go down. And then after this, I'm filming B-roll for an episode. I'm filming B-roll for an episode that I'm doing here on the olive harvest and uh, uh, I get to come back here in October to finish that. But uh, today I'm just take. I, I might go to the beach. Basically, I think that's what I'm trying to say. I might go to the beach, <laughs> just kind of soak swim a little bit in the sea. Why not? It's so darn hot. It's supposed to be a, what, like 95 or six degrees today. What is that, 35 or 36? And we'll get uh, a drink here. There's the restroom here in this little town corner. There's the oterai or bathroom. 
Oh my gosh, just simple water might be good. <sighs> the water's expensive here. Hey, CNC pineapple mix. That's interesting, but I just, I just don't want the sugar. Don't they have any sparkling water? Nothing? All right, let's go to this red one. Seriously, everyone, if, if you come to Japan and you just do Tokyo, you're crazy. I'm telling you right now, you're crazy. You want to feel the country, you got to come out here. Oh, that water's 100 yen, 110 yen. Well, this vending machine's a lot cheaper. All right, let's get some green tea because that's always good. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so hot. Why is this, this one is so much cheaper. Sometimes it pays to look around. So yesterday I went to the Olivian, it's called the Olive. The olives are famous here. It was like the Olivian, um, oh, I need 10 more yen. Olivian uh, uh, Resort and we had all, Olive Wagyu there and it was one of the best steaks ever. But one thing is really important with these, with Wagyu is that you can buy it and pay an arm and a leg for it, but uh, whoa, unless you know how to prepare it, right? It's not, it's not, you, you could ruin a lot of money that you paid. So you gotta make sure you, you prepare it. Um, it's, this phone might also overheat because it is so hot. If it does, I apologize. I'll try to come back as, as, if it, if it uh, cools down again. So there's a guy here. Uh, he's got a fan in his jacket to cool him down, but it, he's telling everybody to turn a, a safety measure. Hey, Tokyo Paul Live. Thanks, buddy. Oh. Oh, it's so hot. Tonight I'll be in uh, Okayama. Take the ferry across, maybe around uh, three, I think. Oh my God, it's so hot. What the heck is that? Does anybody know? What is that? Is that a temple? This would be a great location for a movie. Looks like a, a cult for yoga addicts or something. Just saying, just gonna put that out there. Hey, if I could do yoga, I would. Kanai's making, trying to make me do it. sound of rushing water. I love that. Going down into the rice terraces, rice patties, I guess you would call them when they're wet. Riding bikes around this island in the summer heat's insane. Maybe October, late September might be nice, but August is crazy. <sighs> It, somebody wrote in here, it looks like an octopus. It could, maybe it does. Let's, let's see if there's any kind of a symbolism to it. There's peeps going down right there on the right. This isn't gonna be a very long live stream. Just long enough to get a taste of the Nakayama rice terraces and understand there's vending machines here. And There you go, some of these terraces are flooded that would make them rice patties. I don't, that's kind of weird. They look like they just planted the rice. Maybe that's a different variety of rice. Don't know. 
nine to five. It's really beautiful down here. It's hot, hot. Happy Christian. <laughs> I fill your quota. Uh, this is Shodo Shima or Shodo Island. This is um, Kagawa Prefecture. It's actually Shikoku, but the closest city, probably, I think, Okayama, Himeji. There are ferries to both Himeji and Yo uh, Okayama. I'll be on the Okayama one tonight, or today. Hotaru, thank you. And Kaoson, you're flying. Because if we were, I'd be a lot cooler. Loads and loads of dragonflies. You find them hanging out around the rice paddies all over Japan, as well as snakes. Hoping that there aren't any here, but I have encountered some big ones. It was in Totori. About four years ago on an NHK shoot, they told me to go into the center of the rice terraces and rice paddy, and I did, and lo and behold, this something big moved near my feet, and it was a big snake getting away from me, thank goodness, because if it had bit me, I might have cried. That would have sucked. Yeah, you don't hear a lot about snake bites in, bites in Japan. Most of them are trying to get away from humans, but it was a pretty big one. Like, again, I don't know what this is exactly. Uh, Inoshishi. So I, I wonder what these gates are here for, but Inoshishi are um, like wild boars or pigs with tusks. It's good eating but you can't eat them in some places because they eat, uh, uh, you know, if they're drinking from polluted places and stuff like that, the, the meat could be bad, so you have to be careful. I was told that from a farmer. Wild boar. Wow, look, there's people putting their feet in the stream sounds like a really brilliant idea. All right, we're almost at this uh, octopus shaped straw hut cult retreat place. Here again is the rice. You can see the rice here is just about ready. I don't, I guess it's a month away, but the, it gets so heavy that it starts to fall over. I guess it means it's pretty close to harvest time. But one thing is that's unmistakable in uh, end of September, it is so golden everywhere in Japan, especially in Niigata, Akita, these, these prefectures are loaded with rice. It's so beautiful to drive along the highways there. It's like the Nebraska of Japan, but instead of wheat, it's rice, golden, golden rice. And it's harvested uh, in October. That's when McDonald's has the Tsukimi burger, the harvest moon, and uh, then that gold goes away and 
we have a long winter, three, four months, and then boom, spring, cherry blossoms, circle, cycle of life. That's pretty clear water. I guess there's only one way to find out if it's cold. Toe dipping. YouTuber falls into stream, loses sandal. Ah, oh, that is chilly. Refreshing. I like it. Oh, that feels nice. I'd like to go swimming here, but I think it might be impolite to show my farmer's tan. Why do they call it skinny dipping? Most people doing it ain't skinny that I've seen. Guess it's, why well, is it called naked swimming? It's skinny dipping, I never understood that. Skinny. Oh, I just got a message from uh, uh, Kushitani-san. They're gonna send us the data from, he was our, our, the cameraman. Send us some of the data from the, the third party cameraman so that we can start to put the documentary together. Konnichiwa. Ah. Hi. はい、大丈夫です。本日はパスポートとお持ちでしょうか。私、観光車団じゃない、ここに住んでます。あ、島民の方ですか。はい。でしたら問題ございません。どうぞ。こちら検をさせていただくので。はい。でもっていただくだけ
ああありがとうありがとうございますおおあ靴あ脱いであそっかそっかみんな靴がないねはい。あ、oh, this is complicated。おい、OK。わお。So passport is free admittance。Hey now。All right, so there are the terraces and、uh, we're inside the belly of a wicker、uh, bamboo wicker hut。And、uh, you know, I'm happy to support this place, so I don't mind paying 300 yen. Just, I don't understand <laughs> why it's free and it's not free. I can't understand. And I never travel with a passport because we have a driver's license.、So、it's just weird. Maybe I should. Except I'd probably lose it. That's another reason. Uh, not three dollars, 300 yen, which is、uh, at these exchange rates, it's like, I don't know, 30% off. So it'd be like, like two dollars maybe. That's pretty neat, this place. So I'm basically done. <laughs> I'm basically done. Wait, hold on a second. Now、uh, you can put your shoes here. I'm basically done. All right, we're in a wicker home. It's, it's kind of cool.、Aww. What do you think? Cool? It is cool in here, a lot more shade.、Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot shadier in here. I don't, but it, is, it feels cool, but like, you know, they should, I think they should make it free and make a, put a bar in here. Except I'm driving, but make it a ginger ale bar or something then. Or maybe rice, have a bowl of rice with ginger ale. This would be good. All right, let's get out of here. I don't, yeah. So these, this is what I got a ticket,、um, visitor's card,、uh, I guess. No. I'm like you guys, okay? I, I kind of don't want to prepare too much. I just want to go out and explore. I want like, the freedom and adventure. And, and I think in Japan, people over prepare for their vacations because they have such a limited time. Okay, we got to be careful with how we walk down this thing. People in Japan have such a limited time, they prepare everything months in advance. This is so cool down here. What? So, when they do that, they have their passports. They have reserved everything in advance for tickets. They've done all this stuff. There's the Sazai san, like the, the one person who's done everything. Whoa! This is really cool. What is this? Like, it looks like a bamboo prison. Whoa! I'm getting tired of holding my shoes though. It's like, feels like I'm a prisoner of war. I don't know why. I think I've seen too many movies. That's pretty cool. I think it's better not to use your shoes because it, I could see how easily you would sprain an ankle. Uh, that was a pretty unique experience. Let me get out of here. Never done that before. Yeah, when you're growing up in the,、uh, in the 1980s, for those that are a little bit younger, that was something that,、uh, yeah, we, 
I spent a lot of time learning about in school, the war in Vietnam. And uh, all the movies like Rambo and uh, um, what were some of the other ones? There's lots of them. We saw that and we don't get too much of that in, uh, these days, but I remember when I went to Vietnam in 2000, 2001. Oh no, was it two, no, 2000? Went to the museum in Saigon. I think I told this story before about the Vietnam War. They called it the American War. <laughs> it was just, it was like, and I learned so much uh, from, the, from another side of it, and that was kind of cool. This doesn't have anything to do with that. It's just, uh, it's a pretty unique uh, structure. I guess you can call it a structure. That would it must have taken a long time to put that together. Apocalypse Now, yeah. I, it doesn't say that you can't smoke, though. It's interesting. Nicholas Cage is inside the Wicker Man. What? This <laughs> is so what? <laughs> Nicholas Cage is in there. Well, that makes sense. His last name is Cage, and we'd probably be somewhere in the bottom. Ah, much Oh, so this is from Rexam, and it's called, the title of this is called Zero, and it comes from Wang Wen Chi, it's from Taiwan, so it's an art installation. How cool is that? I like that. That's really cool. I didn't, I honestly had, had no idea that this existed. Normally it's, maybe there's nothing here, but that's really cool. Um, I like it, and I like the fact that it's made from bamboo. I like the fact it's like all natural. I didn't see one nail. That's really, what's so cool about that? Not one nail, not one piece of metal, all made from bamboo. Oh man, that must have been a hard job to do in the summer. So I don't know much about that. That was cool. So I'm kind of glad that I went in there. So if you, had, you have your passport, it's free. And if you don't, it's not. Sponsored. I don't think so. Maybe there's a company sponsored it. I hope that the artist made some money off of that because it looks like he put a lot of time in there. But having an attraction and an attraction just makes it even a bigger attraction. I, I don't know. I am going back to my mini car now. Who's coming with me? Whew. Ah, this way. Mini car's up there. Whoa, <laughs> that could have been like Peter's umbrella in Sapporo. He lost his umbrella, blew away. Umbrella, you know who had umbrellas? The prison guards. Whew. Stay nice and cool. Great escape. Yeah, Peter's umbrella went, and then it was a loner umbrella too, and he was so nice, he returned it all damaged. I don't know if Peter told them that, you know, you can't use it again. Somebody else might have taken it, but you know, when you get a loner umbrella, broken or not, you gotta return it. Peter returned it. Shiroshima, um, I didn't see many boats. That's another thing I'm gonna to try to do today. Sailboats and, and there's a beach that I'm gonna to go to in, in the city. It looked like there were a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of bikinis I, could, I saw. I didn't notice anything else, but uh, apparently uh, you can swim there. So I'm gonna go check that out with my camera. I don't think you need a mask out here. 
Really? I don't, I don't know. People that wear a mask are from the cities and they have something to worry about. You know what I'm talking about? Look at that, I just wanna jump in the muck here. But then I remember Peter and I jumped in muck and it didn't stick well. It's easy to social distance, that's right. Don't socialize with me. <laughs> if you want people to get away, just start coughing. Bad joke, but kind of true. Okay. Let, let, let these ladies go. All right, that's where we just were. Are you tired of olives yet? Yeah. Yes and no. I'm out of shape. I, we went to uh, Toyo Olive, um, one of the, the, the biggest and best manufacturers of olive oil here. And I met with the, uh, uh, with the man in charge, top guy. He showed me what I'm gonna be filming in, in uh, October. And then he gave me shots of olive oil to take. I never had shots of oil before. But this olive oil, man, gave me two kinds of it. You did it. And uh, it had a really nice consistency to it. And then it hit your throat. There's like a spice or kind of a, a slight burning. Very pleasant. It's doing something like medicine, right? So I guess unfiltered I, I don't know how um, I, I you know I I'll be back here in October but they have two two main two or three main varieties of olives and uh, it was in 1908 that the olives came over from Greece they tried planting it in three different locations only here did they take root when something burns in your throat you know it's working or your throat is burning whichever one makes you feel better about yourself. Are the olives dark green or green? Right now they're green, but it's gonna be another month and month and a half before they uh, harvest it, and that's what I'm coming back for. But you know, the lighting in summer is different, and I really wanted to come here, get to know the island before I came and filmed, be able to write a better script to it and have a story that's a little bit better, try to visit some of these places like right here and get an idea what makes Shodoshima special. Um, you have to put a footwork in order to get the story I have done that. Allergic reaction could be another reason why your throat is burning. <sighs> All right, let's get out of here. Playtime's over. Look left, look right, go. Dun, 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 dun. I, Peter and I learned that Mickey Mouse in the 1940s, before the US occupation, um, most of the Disney stuff was counterfeit coming from Korea. <laughs> I thought that was funny because he had some Mickey Mouse masks and only my friend in, uh, my friend Wakaki-san who has a, a museum, he's been collecting toys since 1948 when he was seven years old or something. He had all of these inside stories about the toy industry and, and he had all these like prohibited toys that, well, not prohibited, but Japanese manufacturers made something, then they were recalled, but he had it already. They stopped making it because kids were getting strangled and things like this. He's got them in the box. And he had, he had some kind of Christmas tree with Tomi car. It was a Tomi car. These are like matchbox cars, Christmas tree from like the 1970s or something. He goes, you wanna open it? Let's open it. So he just gonna open it. We didn't have time for look at a, a, a Matchbox car Christmas tree. So I'm going back there to film his uh, toy store, toy museum in 8K and preserve it for history for all eternity because there's a lot of things I'm still learning about. The toy industry is awesome here. Japanese toys are just different. And I think the prism in which to see this would be through the eyes of a man who knows this industry better than anybody else who's been collecting this stuff since the start of time, or 1948. 
So I'm looking forward to that. Kanai's coming with me. I'm going to film it right after I go to Hakodate with Kanai and Peter for our stretch goal from the... Uh... Gosh, it's so small. Konnichiwa! It's so small, the car here. America! Tokyo ni sudemasu. These are the uh, samurai. Nani? Ah, tondemonai, choto daki hanasiru. Wakaru? Ah, honto? Eh, urishi! Ah, they said they, I speak pretty good. Thank you, you too. So, wow, I found a car that was smaller than mine. Look. So, going there. Yeah. He told you that you can take it, so that. Wow. That's no good, man. It's one cheat chai tomo taketo chigane. Afutari? Eh, so this guy. Eh? So Two people can drive in that thing. I've never seen anything like it before. All right, let's go inside the air conditioning. Oh, gosh. Oh, this car's so hot. Engine on. Come on, Daihatsu. I'm not putting in no card. We don't have any highways here to use an ETC card. Oh, it's hot. Double the heat in here. Crank, crank it. Oh my gosh. This is for the Insta360 and it's popping up off of, out of the roof. So I got these 360 shots. You can bring it in even more and get this amazing super wide with me right in the, the constants, the car driving, and on the left and the right, all this view in super wide is awesome. So, I mean, you're not using it for the 360, but it's way better than a GoPro camera. GoPro might be 150 or 160 degrees of angle. This is like 360, so you could do so much more with it. Um, so it might be a little psychedelic if I get too creative, but should I have to take the top down, right? Hey, Michael Sasano's here. Michael. Hi, John. Love when you take us on beautiful and wonderful places like this in Japan. Wonder if there is a place where people could harvest rice to experience how it's done. Oh, there are a load of, of uh, farm visits that you can do. The best would be to book it in July and August, and they take place in October and the beginning of November when they harvest the rice. So you're gonna to wanna to do it, or you can do a taoe, which is uh, when rice planting, and that's also kind of fun, but it's wet. Much better to harvest the rice. Or just go to a farm when they're not doing anything so that you can just wake up when the roosters crow. Well, I don't see too many roosters at Japanese farms, but that's a great question. Loads and loads of places you can find them. Every prefecture is trying to promote that, a reason to get people to come out of Tokyo and. Kyoto and go out to the countryside and I think it's genius. You just have to find the right one. Farmers eat well too. Farmers earn well too because I believe it's highly subsidized and uh, they charge pretty high prices uh, for it. The daily rental for the car, I don't know. I think it was like 7,000, 6,000 yen a day or something. It's kind of pricey, maybe 50, 60 dollars a day. Uh, it ended up being 20,000 yen for two and a half days which is, I don't know if they charge me for a full day, uh, maybe like 7,000 yen a day, which is 60, $55, plus the insurance. It's pretty cheap. I can't believe you rented such a big car. What? That's the end of the car. <laughs> uh, okay, let's take the top down here. First, I have to... Ready? I'll turn the air conditioning down. Responsible. Three, two, one. It's working. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like a mechanical. Oh, this is a big mistake. It's so hot. It's so hot. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sweating already. All right, guys, there you go. So, <laughs> you see me there? 
So it's a it's a pretty small car, but it's fun. It's a fun car. It's the Dolph Mobile. It's it's a it's a really fun car to drive. Um, just for a couple of days. I wouldn't want to own it. It's fun to drive around here. So uh, that that's the Naka, Nakayama terraced rice field that was a pretty cool experience it's free except if you go inside the art exhibition 300 yen which I think is good because it helps pay that artist hopefully who, who seems like you put a lot of time and effort into the work and deserves uh, something for that return um, next up I'm going to Okayama on the ferry then to another island uh, you guys are gonna like that one <clears throat> there are rabbits there lots and lots of rabbits I think I've said too much See everybody. I'll, I might bring another live stream uh, at the beach. Just depends how how bikinified it is. Is that even a word? Probably not. Time to cruise. See you later, everybody.